I've been doing a, a solo exhibition with ACCA and part of the deal with that is, is a very rare and fantastic opportunity I think that the VCA and ACCA have with each other is that you're in such close proximity that you can, if there's a visiting artist, that you can kind of haul them over and make use of them. It's, you know, teaching and art education, it always needs kind of different inputs. It is rare and unique to have the likes of one of our country's most celebrated visual artists and myself, who's a choreographer, come together under the umbrella of the Victorian College of the Arts to support such a workshop environment. But Michaela Dwyer and I are a bit of peas in a pod. I think we both have the sensibilities of uh, looking at the, the fantastical uh, environments and ideas and exhibitions, for a better word, I call them essays these days, that we both um, have in common. We're lucky to have Philip Adams from Ballet Lab and Justine Williams from Sydney and Annie Mokoto, who's a dramaturg. The first day or two is quite intense, working with um, hypnosis and you know, performance techniques, voice exercises, which I think the students are quite um, shocked with. I have been working in hypnotism for about a year now and taking lessons and I obviously use that within my practice, getting dancers or theatre uh, actors etc in, in a theatrical situation into a position where they feel quite comfortable and relaxed to then begin a, a process with me. We started off the week doing a lot of kind of theatre exercises, focusing on movement um, throughout the space and then also developed um, through painting and just arranging objects and making objects um, and moving through the space and a lot of activities that we pulled small things out of that to then create what we have today. Um, I mean I'm just structuring it loosely around what I've been interested in so that's been working collaborating with the dancers and target painting and um, sculptural propositions so it's sort of based on an idea of modelling rather than carving and so you model, you begin with nothing and you work out from there so that hopefully the students start to think through the materials and cultivate a sort of material imagination. And so it's not prescribed, which I guess we're sort of working with accidents and mistakes and incidental things that happen. As soon as we covered the floor with cardboard, it then makes the space, it's a very active space, an active conscious space. So everything that goes on in that room is um, you're acutely aware of your thinking, but it's sort of embodied and live and acted out through materials and movements and conversations. We were asked to bring in cardboard for the workshop um, and there's been other materials that were just sort of there in the space provided. And in terms of philosophies, it's probably been more about methodologies, um, ways of making, ways of thinking about work, ways of letting work happen and also ways of collaborating as well. Oh, I think it's a lot of it's to do with noticing movement and transforming a space and the idea of seeing the body as an object. It's been a roller coaster because you look at this sort of chaos that you create in this space and then you sort of struggle to see if anything can like creative or exciting or kind of coherent could come out of it and you have these really down moments where you're just looking at it going I don't think there's anything in this and then half an hour later you something amazing's happening like people are kind of performing together and really playing off each other and that's yeah that's really great but you really have to trust that you're going to get to that point. Um, it's been a bit challenging but I think everyone's needed that challenge and it's been really good. My experience with the students was quite uplifting it started as a platform for us to uncover, discuss, and in an authentic way, realise that the disciplines, even though they are worlds apart, have a similar physical engagement with the practice of, that is, obsession with the object. I think at the end, I just hope that whatever's created in this room today <laughs> will be uh, just as much of an experience for them as it is for both Makala and I to work in this way. I mean, it's wonderful to come and see how another art school works. And it is, and every art school is different and has its own kind of language and um, culture. And it's quite inspiring down here, it's good. <laughs>